Okay, you guys, so I just want to give you an idea of some things I want to get going and reviewing because I feel like I found some really high quality furnishings or decor for my home and I've done a lot of research, like more research than any normal person should do. I have read reviews, like I've read it so many days until my eyes were like bleeding. It's really, really, really hard, I think, to get really good stuff. If you have a really high quality taste, but not the budget for it, but you're willing to invest in your own way and whatever you can afford, there are some really, really great things you can find. And that's how I got really hooked on Facebook Marketplace mostly. There are certain things I would never buy on Facebook Marketplace, but one thing I have bought that I really, really love and I got a good deal on, and of course eBay I've done this too, I have found, I've played around with curtains so much. The first thing I did was with all my windows, I knew I wanted two-inch blinds. I wanted... Um, I just got the regular Walmart blinds. I got the ones that are white faux wood. So these are great. They were not expensive. It was a quick way for me to get something on my windows. I had nothing on any windows. I also had to paint my entire house. Um, my house was a rental for multiple own owners. I'm not even sure how many. And it was in pretty good condition but decor wise and sort of like the inside finishings besides the floors are relatively new and I was happy about that and I left them there were some other things that it just was like okay the ceiling has not been painted in like 30 years you know kind of had to do that all throughout the house and of course I didn't have I wanted it to be the best quality and I wanted to use, I knew I wanted to use Benjamin Moore high quality paint and I didn't care if I didn't decorate at all for years until I was able to get the whole house painted. But I pushed through and I did it in like six months, the entire house, except for um, my upstairs bathroom. So that will be coming. I will be doing that sometime this summer. <clears throat> I'm actually waiting um, hopefully this weekend I'm getting a lot of my lighting fixtures installed and maybe some recess lighting. So I'll make a video about that too. But I'm going to show you my curtains. I love these curtains. They're in my bedroom. Um, I found and I've played around with a lot of different curtains. I wanted natural or as close to natural organic feeling as I could get. I'm also a yogi and obsessed with anatomy. I have a whole business on that. So, but I'm, I love interior design and I love architectural design and I love engineering. I love, I appreciate something that's well thought out. So these curtains are in my bedroom from West Elm. I looked at them online. It was really hard for me to find live photos you know, when people do reviews online, and I should do this more myself, when you leave a review and you leave a photo, I love you. <laughs> That's like amazing. You know, you're really, really helping us out. The photos that they take on, you know, on the website, they're so professionally done with lighting and all that stuff. I mean, you just cannot tell what the fabric is really like. When somebody takes a photo, when somebody takes a video, I Google reviews of a product, even if I order it from a totally different website, just because I know one website might have better, more reviews, not better, but more reviews, just cumulative. So these are West Elm Worn Velvet curtains in alablaster color. So it's kind of like an uh, off-white ivory, like a warm color. Anyway, I'm going to leave these up probably all year round. And I am going to show those to you. And here they are. So you can see how I put them in there. And I found that nice little piece of artwork at TJ Maxx. Actually, it's from Society6. So they look pretty beautiful. This is super casual. I open them in the morning. I have not touched them. I have not styled them. I have not done anything. 
We will talk about that little massage thing on the chair in a moment, <laughs> in another video probably. So let's just keep focused on these curtains. There's my blinds, I love them. Like I said, they weren't expensive and it helped me get something on my windows. Sometimes I open them all the way, but I like light and I like natural light to come in all the time. So let's check out these curtains because I love how this glow comes through and it makes me feel nice and warm and cozy. Now they're completely polyester and they have a good amount of weight to them. These are non-lined on this window. And because like I said, I bought them on Facebook Marketplace and I was searching because they're like $300 for just a pair unlined. I actually found a great deal where I bought three panels and one of the panels was blackout. So one of the panels has a blackout liner. You can see it's the same, the fabric looks the same pretty much except the light doesn't shine through. So of course, you know, that makes it look a little bit different, but it is really the same. And the blackout liner on the back is very good. It's like amazing. And if you have a window where street light comes in on one side or something, you can do this. You can combine them. It doesn't really bother me that one is a blackout and I probably will move these into the other bedroom. I'm doing both of my bedrooms in this. My other bedroom is mostly for work and guest. And so, yeah, I think that these are beautiful bedroom curtains at night when I close them. I feel nice and cozy and they're still really pretty. And honestly, I really recommend them. Try to find them on sale. Try to search on eBay. I actually ordered one more panel where I can add to it to start to build on the ones um, I'm hanging in the other bedroom. So, and I do not, I these curtain rods are from Bed Bath & Beyond. I like them. You can hear my creaky floor, <laughs> but I like them. They are in a warm gold color, which is kind of almost like a copper. I think it kind of works in here, although I wanted just regular gold. I like French return where they curve around and attach on the walls. And I wanted that in this bedroom, but I went for these instead. I probably will change them at some point. I just, I have French returns downstairs and I actually like them a lot better, but these are pretty and I'm not complaining at all. It's just that I have like a long-term goal to probably switch these or whatever. Anyway, so yes, if you like nice, cozy, organic feeling and I used curtain clips to attach them, I just folded and pinched. I definitely recommend the curtain rings and they can hold the weight if you get a good quality rod, of course. So this is my first review, West Elm Worn Velvet Curtains in Alablaster. And I'm sure that the other ones are just as beautiful. And um, yes, so I will next review my linen ones downstairs. Okay, see you guys later. Belle, do you like the new curtains? Do you like them? Do you sleep better at night with these curtains? Yes? I know. Okay, I'll let you get back to your napping. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have anything to add to West Elm Worn Velvet Curtains as a review, please let me know below. And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Take care, like and subscribe. Bye.